We are back at 846 with the co-star and director of It Ends With Us, Justin Baldoni. The highly anticipated film is based on Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel. It follows Lily Bloom, played by Blake Lively, who moves to Boston to fulfill her dream of opening a flower shop. After a chance encounter with a neurosurgeon, a relationship quickly heats up between the two of them. Take a look. Why haven't I seen you before? Well, mostly because I've never required brain surgery, but also because I don't live here, so. So you just broke into my building? I have a really nice view. I do. And it just gets better and better. Justin, good morning to good you. Good morning. I told you behind the scenes, I loved it, full disclosure. I laughed, I cried, the dialogue is hot, it's witty, it's emotional. Oh. No surprise, pre-ticket sales are, are through the roof. Are you surprised at the phenomenon that it's been already, first of all, with the book, but the anticipation for the movie? <sighs> I'm, I'm all of it, mm. you know? I think that there's the little boy in me who, I don't know if I ever dared to dream that this could happen. Mm. So I'm kind of trying to catch up with the reality of it, and I'm just, I'm honored and I'm, I'm also more honored that because, you know, what we're talking about is so important and so sure. meaningful that we're able to have this much, much anticipation and so many people want to go see it and are talking about it. Like, it, that's what I'm grateful and for. And you had a key part in bringing it to the big screen. How did this all come to be? Well, in 2019, um, I read the book. I was sent the book by my book agent and friend at the time. And I was looking for films that could... Uh, inspire mm. that were commercially viable but also could really like reach in and touch somebody's heart and maybe ask them to see the world a bit differently and uh i read the book i couldn't even finish it i was just crying as i was reading it you were crying i was in tears i was sitting next to my wife who's here by the way hi baby and um and just like snot running down my nose and i just was like if i could be this touched by lily bloom's story then i can only imagine what this could do for so many people so i wrote colleen and she she uh believed in me enough to give me the honor of adapting it, and it's been five years to get here. You know, for people who don't know, that, you know, you tackle domestic violence in a way that a lot of people don't expect. I think mm. you think of a typical abuser, or you think of a typical victim, but this is nuancy, and sometimes by the time you get to the end of it, you really don't know how you feel. Yeah, well, I think that's, I think that's the challenge, right? Because what is a typical abuser or a mm -hmm. typical victim? I think that, that there is no typical anything. I think that unhealthy relationships on a spectrum, and uh, and this was a really important one. So, you know, we partnered with our dear friends at No More. It was the only way that I could direct this movie is if I had a group of women specifically behind me who are specialists in this space. And from the very beginning, we worked very hard to create a very truthful and honest story that could reflect the reality of what millions and millions of people go through every day. And I think Blake knocked it out of the park. Is there something about Blake that we don't know? And what was it like working with her? I don't know if you know how smart and creative she really is. I think she's best known as an actress and, a, and of course she's, you know, a fashion, you know, icon, but she is so much more than that. She is a dynamic creative. She had her hands in every part of this production and everything she touched, she made better. And in 10 seconds, <laughs> the one thing you want people to take away from this project, what would you say? Hope mm. and that everybody has the ability to end a cycle that they didn't ask for. We can all say it ends with us in our life. It ends with us. Justin, thank you. Thank and congratulations you so on the me. project. It ends it. with us is in theaters tomorrow, although I know everyone knows that. <laughs> all right. I have a really nice view. I do. It's Colleen Hoover's Hollywood debut, the author's best-selling novel, It Ends With Us, which sold 8 million copies to date, now adapted to the big screen. I read this so I could get ready for the movie coming out. For one of the most highly anticipated movies of the year, the wildly successful author now stepping into a new role as an executive producer. Movie adaptations are no easy task, I mean, because the readers are so invested in the characters. Did you feel pressure at all initially? to make sure that it kind of met the moment? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure there. But knowing that I feel good about this movie and it's such a faithful adaptation, I'm excited. Starring Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni. Okay, well, good luck with that. Is that a yes? The movie follows Lively's character, Lily Bloom, as she navigates a love triangle between her childhood sweetheart, Atlas, Lily Bloom, and her current relationship. <laughs> Trip. Amid her struggles with domestic violence, for Hoover, the story is deeply personal. My first memory of being alive, I was probably two years old, and I 
remember my sister and I hiding in our bedroom and I peeked out right as my dad threw a TV at my mom. She left him shortly after that and she's such a pillar of strength that I always questioned like, how was she in this abusive relationship? Mm -hmm. And so writing her story for me was a way to explore that. The process helping her and her mom find peace. I think she never really thought that she had made the right decision. She was unsure. Mm. Don't want to cry. But until she read the book, she was like, I didn't know if, if the choice I made was the best one for you and your sister. And so just knowing that it helped her realize that she could have made a better choice for us was, you know, so moving. What did your mom think of the movie? I got to see it the first time with my mom sitting right next to me and she cried the entire time, laughed, and then seeing her when it was over, give everyone a hug that worked on the film. Hoover says Blake was the perfect choice to portray her mother's strength on screen. When did you find out Blake Lively was on board? They told me that she might sign on when they were in early talks with her, and she's one of my favorite actresses, so I'm kind of a, a realist pessimist, and so I didn't allow myself to get excited until she showed up on set and actually like was there for the role. What was that like to go from this idea in your head, in your heart, from the heart through the pen, and then now seeing Blake Lively on set with the other rock star actors, yeah. bringing this to life. What was that like? It's very surreal. I remember tearing up, walking through the floral shop for the first time, and then getting to see these things that I wrote on paper come to life around you is, is just astonishing, honestly. At one point, we were in the theater, and you popped up on the screen. What was that like? <laughs> Worst day of my life. Oh, what do you say? No, Why? I'm not kidding. Like. What? I was literally on camera for like a few seconds, right? It took 10 to 14 hours to oh, film seriously? the party scene that day. I had no idea what it took to act. Just a whole new level of respect for everyone in this industry. Well, how do I find you? Um, if I wanted to find you. I, I mean, I, I opened my flower shop. What do you hope audiences feel when they leave the theater? I want them to feel hopeful, whether that's for someone they know who is on the same journey as Lily, or whether that's just how they feel themselves seeing Lily's journey play out. I want them to leave the theater feeling hopeful. Wow. So we'll mention it again. It ends with us. It's in theaters nationwide on Friday. And then tomorrow we'll chat with another one of the film stars, Justin Baldoni. I laughed. Mm -hmm. I cried. Wow. Mm -hmm. I talked back to the screen. I was oh. one of those folks. You know, sometimes I can oh, do that. Yeah. And I tried not to be that girl, but I was like, no. It sounds so good. It, it, it was really You good, did the interview yeah. with Blake Lively. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. really Beautiful. cool. And they're, real, they're all lovely. Mm -hmm. Really, wow. really and truly. Beautiful. Yeah. Back from Paddy, turning our attention from the Olympics for a moment here to one of the year's most highly anticipated movies. Oh, yes. It's called It Ends With Us. It's based on Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel. And when you have Blake Lively in the starring role, you know it's going to generate even more excitement. Chanel sat down with Blake and her co-star Jenny Slate to talk about what it was like on such beloved roles. Nobody could ever put more pressure on me than I put on myself, but I see it as an opportunity. You know, we have a responsibility to take care of a book that means so much to so many people. Blake Lively is back on the big screen, bringing one of today's most popular books to life. Hey, Lily, you want to do the honors? No, you go ahead. I, I need to take it in from here. We're well, just hoping you'd say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover has sold 8 million copies and is currently number one on the New York Times paperback bestsellers list. I read this so I could get ready for the movie coming out. And making I it one of the most it. talked about movie releases of the year. Lively's character, Lily Bloom, navigates a love triangle between her childhood sweetheart. Atlas. Lily Bloom, is that your guy? Yeah, that's, um, that's Ryle and her current relationship amid her struggles with domestic violence. Jenny Slate plays the role of Alyssa, Lily's employee turned best friend. I'm so sorry. Um, I have an issue with my face says it all. I just hate flowers. When you watch the movie, I think, especially with women, I think they're going to walk out of the theater feeling empowered and almost like, you know what, we all need a little bit of an Alyssa in our lives. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she's the best, best right? friend of all. Playing a character that has already existed in a very popular piece of literature is a really cool opportunity to say, 
I'm not trying to make a replica of what you've seen. I'm trying to, to bring more. Early set photos of Lively's movie wardrobe sending fans into a frenzy. People have so much to say about her, her style. I mean, I love Lily's style. I think when you see the film, her style makes sense because she's a woman of multitudes. It's storytelling. To me, fashion and costume design is storytelling. Can I tell you my favorite? Yes, please. Like, take my breath uh -huh. away favorite? Uh-huh. Those boots. Those oh, are my yeah. boots. Those boots are so good. Those are my real life boots. A lot of it's my <laughs> real life clothes or my husband's clothes or my girlfriend Gigi's clothes. I was borrowing some. Wait, that's kind of amazing. So you have something of Gigi's in the movie. Yeah, it's like a wedding, like something old, something borrowed, something blue, or something Wait, new. Wait, which one? Just... Now I want to think of the scene. Oh, so... I'm wearing her stuff all over it. Oh, really? Tons of like Bodhi, which is with a suit now that I'm Cute. wearing is Bodhi. It was meant for my husband, but I Wait, borrowed it. his suit? It was meant for him to wear, but it was so, <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at it. You guys are not getting it in the know. shot. <laughs> Her husband, of course, is Ryan Reynolds. What a beautiful season <laughs> you're in. You've got these oh, projects, these beautiful kiddos. Do you allow yourself to kind of to oh, feel it? Always. Every second, I just like look around going, these are the days. You know, I feel really, really, really fortunate. Taylor Swift did post that she's the godmom, uh -huh. and people just love it because they love you guys. Oh, that's so what sweet. What is it about Taylor that makes her so special? Oh, I mean, she is, to speak of women of multitudes and women who know how to be both strong and vulnerable, a woman who knows how to step into herself and into her story and show others of what that looks like and be an example of that. I mean, that's deeply inspiring. I understand why she means so much to so many people. She means that much to me. That strong female energy also coming to life in the new film. There was a special screening I know that Colleen had for some of the fans. And I remember you saying that there was this empowering female energy in the theater. What do you want people to walk away with at the end of this movie? In this movie, it covers trauma and it covers pain and it covers joy and levity and first loves. And I want people to feel connected and I want them to feel seen. And I think that just wanting people to feel is beautiful. Well, we should mention it ends with us. It's theaters nationwide on Friday. Check it out. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.